right now, I'm with my friend Elijah, and we are in the kitchen. This is the first video on Fahrenheit Vlogs. Or we just put this on another channel that's not Fahrenheit Vlogs. Either way, cooking challenge. Um, we're gonna give each other ingredients, and we're just gonna see what we can make with them. Yep. And that's the video. Whoever makes the better thing wins. And whoever loses gets, well, a sacrifice. Okay, what's up guys? We got all the ingredients ready. So this is for Elijah, right here. Chick filet sauce. Vienna sausages. Mozzarella cheese. And the Cheerios for some reason. Then for me, a lot you picked out for me, but this is Cool Ranch Doritos, Chicken, Fiesta Blend Cheese, Taco Sauce, and then the special, you can use it if you want to, Frank's Red Hot. That's the ingredients. Now, it's time to get to cooking. So what's up guys, so basically in this challenge, bread and different seasonings are allowed to be used freely in this challenge. So, let's get to cooking. So I am going to make a weird dish, but you know, it hopefully will taste good. So let's get started. Yeah, okay. I'm not Got the Vienna sausages. So I got these little tiny Vienna sausages. I got some nice mozzarella cheese. I got some Chick fil A sauce and I got some Cheerios. The Cheerios, they might seem weird, but you'll see it in it. So right now I need to cut up my Vienna sausages. It might not taste good, but it will look good. All that matters. Butter is allowed to be used freely. Wait, we need we need to decide on this. Is butter allowed to be used freely? Yeah, I say butter. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like butter. Because butter, you basically have to have it with almost everything. Yeah. Talking about butter. Hello, guys. Um, I got very close to the burner right there. This is what I'm doing. Fiesta blend. Doritos. Chicken and taco sauce. I have no idea what I'm gonna make with this, but I have an idea. Which is very tasty. So I'm gonna roast these up. Then I'm gonna get some bread, probably toast the bread. But I'm gonna roast some of these up and I'll pour, put cheese on it. I'm gonna crunch up Doritos. And yeah, just go from there. And I gotta spread the butter I put in my pan so, so this pan doesn't stick. Well, How do you cook it, these things? It sticks pan. Look at this mountain, jeez. He's going crazy.
they were for long the lie. Of course you gave me the plate with the le the the less amount of food. Or not, I don't even know. Okay. So right now, uh, we are getting into it. So we're gonna check out. We're gonna give each other food a score. Then we're gonna obviously put this like our scores together. Um so you guys have the best score. Because she has the best score. Okay, let's try yours. You have to get, you have to, okay, and we're also going to give each other's, our honest score of our food. A 1 through 10. Like an honest, a very honest score. Because. I will know if this is bad. I know if this is bad. Well, let's try yours first. Oh, oh, well, that makes sense. It's a good segue. That's pretty good. It's a lot of flavors. I'm gonna take one more bite. Like you said, there's a lot of flavors. First bite, I really couldn't taste that much. But the second bite, a lot of burrito. Like, yeah. yeah. Which I like that. I like that crunchy feeling. Yeah. And then the um, taco sauce. Oh, yes. Yeah. Taco sauce makes it way better. I say I rate this about a bit of a seven and a half. So I guess like a little off as I can't really taste much of the of the um, chicken seasoning. And I would've Light loved into it more, man. And I would have loved if you made the buns like a little toastier. Dumb. Look at that. That's pretty it's, they're pretty toasty. It's because they kinda sogged a little bit over time. So Definitely. When I first grabbed them, they were hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I heard you gave it an 8.5. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was a 7.5, right? Yep. Right. Okay. Let's see what the check out mine. I would give mine a higher rating than him, but I feel like that's unfair. So, since I can't give myself a higher rating than he did, mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Give, give me a lower rating. I'm gonna give myself a 7.6. Okay, I'll give you a 7.7. 7. No, let's check that one. Okay, if you're gonna do a 7.7, 7, I'll go, so just do a 7.5. Okay. But... Alright, let's Honestly, don't wanna eat this. This looks really gross to me. I hate Vienna sausages. <laughs> okay, well, we're trying. I don't think you're like really able to even taste it from like how much. Dude, stuff I, I can't eat. see the Cheerios. Where where can I really get into the Cheerios? Cheerio, there's like under like some of the cheese too. Okay. Yo. I want to. I'm gonna get some Cheerios because I really want Cheerios in the bite. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna try to get some Cheerios on there. I want the, I want your full flavor palette in this. It's so good. totally mm -hmm. I hate it so much. You're the one that gave me the end of sausages. Oh. Mm. It's very interesting. I don't like completely hate it. I don't love it. <sighs> okay. I feel like I need to eat more instead of just drinking Coke. That's, that is some Cheerio I see right there. Yep. That's a Cheerio. <clears throat> Why well, you have more to finish your sandwich? Um, okay. Oh, I'm gonna try to eat some like more before I get my review. Um there's some bites where it's really good and then some where it's so bad. Um first thoughts when eating it, 
smoky taste, which makes sense when you um, cook Vienna sausages, uh, sausages on a pan. The smoky um, taste makes sense. I don't like a smoky taste. Bad memories, I guess. Of, oh no, I just don't like that smoky taste, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could taste that. The cheese taste it was really stringy and dry. The, honestly, my favorite part was the Cheerios. It kind of felt like a relief. And the texture of the Vienna sausages was good. Um, I think the Cheerios had a sugarful uh, relief. The Chick-fil-A sauce adds basically nothing to it. It's not that good. Um... Um, did you add Frank's Red Hot to it? Yeah, I not can't. much because I didn't. Yeah, I, I don't like Frank's Red Hot. I can't so. taste that. Actually, do you think this would go good with Frank's Red Hot? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's my review of that little in-depth thing. I'm, I'm a good food critic, food critic, right? Yeah. We should make our own TV show about this. Yeah. So. Religious cooking. I don't know what to call it. What should we call it? I'm gonna rate this food the now. Um, I'm gonna probably give it. It's either five point five or a six. But. Bro, I remember. I, I. You know, in math class, if I don't know the answer, it's like a decimal answer. I always round up. Always round up. If they're like, is it four or is it five? And I, if I get four point five, I'm going with the five. They're supposed to go. You're not supposed to go down on this five and above. You round. So I'll give you a six. So now let's go add up our scores. Now what do we do? Wait a minute, you well, you didn't even give your score. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know my score about a ten. A ten? A Be ten. Honest. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I literally gave myself a seven point five. It's 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 an eight. An eight? It's a, okay. I don't I'm gonna go do the scores. I should have purposely just given you one. I'm about to eat your sandwich. Good. So, my overall score was a 15.2. His was a 14. That's it for today, folks. Um, actually, no, you gave me an extra two, though. The, the 7.7. So, if we go back to the 7.5... Then I just have 15. I win either way. So, 15 to 14. Is that a hair? Don't eat Anthony's cooking. There's a hair in his food. Okay, That's well, it, to end that off, Coke, this sponsor, sponsor me. Please sponsor me, please. Like I, I really desperately need it. Like buy all But other than that, thanks for watching. Let's go. I'll see you guys next time. Eat healthy. Don't be fat. <laughs>